Okay, I'm going to get you to lay down for me, please. Edward Romero is getting ready for an important test. There we go. All done. Chest pain has sent him to Baptist Medical Center in San Antonio. The 71-year-old great-grandfather is heading to the cath lab to see if his heart arteries are blocked. He remembers his last procedure two years ago when a physician threaded a stent to his heart through his groin. This time, doctors are using the radial approach, meaning they'll go through his wrist. I thought if they can do it through the arm, maybe it's better than doing it through the groin. Edward remembers having to lie still for hours after his last catheterization, but this time he'll be up a lot sooner. A lot of our patients have back problems and trying to lay still for six to eight hours after an intervention sounds like fun, it's not much fun. So Edward, we're going to take a picture of your heart pumping function here in a second. Interventional cardiologist Dr. Chad Christofferson is using the latest cardiac cath technique, the radial approach, threading wires through the wrist to the heart. All right, Edward, take a little breath in and hold your breath. Christofferson says the radial approach is better to treat patients of all body types, and it cuts down on the most common post-procedure problem, bleeding from the access site. The procedure takes anywhere from 10 minutes to an hour and can include something as simple as shooting in dye for imaging to deploying balloons or stent placement. Christofferson likes to perform the procedure at Baptist hospitals. Baptist facilities have some of the most experienced technicians. A little warmth in the hand here. Under conscious sedation, most patients don't feel much during the procedure. Most people snooze through it and don't remember anything about it. Now that he's performed more than 3,000 radial catheterizations, Christofferson is a huge advocate of this approach. In this utilization, you can sit up right away, walk around, get out of bed, go to the bathroom. The rear are, are no limitations to it. Dr. Christofferson was one of the first physicians in San Antonio to use this radial technique in Baptist hospitals. Now he says he does about 80% of his cases this way. I already feel recovered. Edward's recovery is a lot different than last time. We found him perched on the bed eating a sandwich just a couple of hours later. I feel good right now. <laughs> so let's take a look. Luckily for Edward, the test revealed no blocked heart arteries. He's heading home with just a small puncture wound in his wrist, a tiny entry point that doesn't even require stitches. Yeah, so it's nice. Innovative cardiovascular care that helps heal your heart and speed your recovery. That's the difference. That's Baptist care. For more information, log on to bhshearts.com. To find a physician or make an appointment, call 210-297-7005. For the Baptist Health News Network, I'm Wendy Rigby.